Chair recognizes the gentlelady from Texas, Ms. Johnson, for five minutes. Without objection. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Allow me to say Happy Teacher's Day to every teacher and also to also say that it's an honor and privilege to offer a resolution recognizing National Nurses Week, which is May 6th through the 12th. This year's theme is Nurses, Caring, Leading, Advocating. Since 1994, National Nurses Week has served as an opportunity to recognize nurses for their hard work, patience, and service, as well as their contributions to improving our nation's health care system. Throughout my career as a, nurse, a registered nurse, I've had no greater privilege than to provide health care to those who have courageously served our country. As a former chief psychiatric nurse at the Veterans Administration Medical Center in Dallas, I know firsthand the importance of providing quality care to those coming home from the war. Through joining forces, a health care and treatment program for military personnel, which was recently launched by the Obama administration, more than 500 nursing schools and 150 nursing organizations will work together to meet the unique health care needs of servicemen and women, veterans, and their families. Nurses provide invaluable service on a daily basis in settings such as hospitals, clinics, schools, workplaces, correctional facilities, and through their service in the military and during natural disasters. With over three million strong, nurses comprise the largest sector of the health care workforce. And year after year, nurses are voted the most trusted of all professionals. From the 12th time in 13 years, nursing ranked first in a Gallup survey for honesty and ethical standards in 2011. While our country shifts toward a nationwide focus on prevention and promotion, I believe it is the nurses who should stand at the forefront of this uh, reformation. Mr. Speaker, nurses save lives, provide critical care, and advocate on behalf of their patients 52 weeks a year. They deserve more than one week of recognition for their tireless work within health care. But I want to thank my many congressional colleagues who co-sponsor this, this honoring nurses. My colleagues, Congresswoman Lois Capps and Congresswoman Carolyn McCarthy are also nurses. They have worked with me to promote this resolution, and they are champions of nursing profession. This week, remember to thank a nurse for the admirable and selfish contributions they make to our community. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back.